I'm Tiffany. My husband and I have made a camper out of a 6x12 foot all aluminum cargo trailer. We had a lot of questions while we were building it and afterwards and figured we'd give you guys a little walkthrough. We did 14 inch camper windows installed in between the studs. We did LED lights. The first is our porch light out here and we did four recessed lights inside with a dimmer switch in the back over the bed. We did shiplap sides with insulation in the walls and in the ceiling. We did beadboard ceilings. We did the Max Air fan and it's awesome. Highly recommend it. Everybody loves it. It moves air. It's quiet. It's awesome. We did epoxy countertops. We did alder cabinets. This is our cubic mini stove, wood stove. It's a, got a nice dry heat to it. It takes four inch pieces of wood. Um, it's got a nice like ambiance and a neat little, uh, this is our vent stack from DuraVent. It's a pellet vent of uh, three inch. Under here is our utility room. Not quite a room, more of a really small space with a lot of stuff. We've got our water pump. We've got our ventless, tankless water heater. That's an XL water heater. We've got a five gallon bucket that's our gray water collection. And all the plumbing for our outdoor shower that we'll get to. It's all supplied from this 25 gallon water tank that sits under our cabinet. We've got plenty of storage. Uh, we've got a two burner cook stove that comes and sits up on the countertop of when we want to cook. We can also take it outside. Um, this is our bed. It's currently in the uh, travel position and we just release it from these hooks on the side. We can flip it down and it sits on this French cleat in the down position. And we've got two legs on the other side. It sits up 17 inches off the ground, which is just perfect for this cooler to sit underneath it. And one of our little dogs likes to army crawl under it and sleeps under there. This is our bench that houses our power control center. It's a mighty mini 4045. We've got DC and AC power. Our DC power is a 12 volt, 130 amp hour single battery and it seems to work really well. We were gone for two days and it looks like we used a single amp of power. Um, this is our battery control regulator and we can just by touch of a button turn it and it looks like we're at 12.5 and that's after a whole weekend of using it. Uh, the flooring that we chose was life proof. It's a vinyl floor uh, we'll do a follow-up video on that. Uh, we went with a ramp door so that we can drive our four-wheeler up into it. And we designed it exactly so that we can get our four-wheeler in between the bench and the wall. Over on this side, we've got our shore power. It's a 30 amp plug. We've got our gravity fill and our city water ports. And then we've got our outdoor shower over here. We hooked up our propane tank uh, with this attachment system. And we don't mind it for the sitting and the camping aspect, but don't necessarily like it in the traveling avenue. So we actually take the tank off when we're traveling and put it in the truck, in the rig something and that's our camper hope you guys like it